In our Spotlight on Business report, about 100 union members and labor advocates rallied outside the company that prepares in-flight meals and snacks to demand state heat standards. The rally comes just as Jersey is coming off another heat wave. The heat is especially dangerous for those who work out in it, which is why the groups are now calling on the legislature to pass a bill in a special session this August to protect these workers. Ted Goldberg reports. If you eat or drink on flights out of Newark Airport, employees from Gate Gourmet are largely responsible for that. But driving those trucks to and from the airport can be exhausting, especially during heat waves. This can be very hot inside our throats. And not all of them have working air conditioning. I have gone so hot inside the truck that I have, I have felt dizzy and light-headed. Workers at Gate Gourmet rallied today in hopes of New Jersey passing a heat standards bill. If that happens... Employers will need to have plans in place to prevent heat-related illnesses. They'll have to provide breaks, shade, and cool water. Assemblywoman Annette Quijano co-sponsored the bill, which has left one committee and got stuck in another one. She's heard criticisms from the business community, which have called these regulations burdensome. The employers that are good employers that give shade when it's hot, give water, you know, let them um, have a, a rest. This, this bill really isn't going to impact it. I think it's wrong to try to legislate based on bad actors. There's a system in place and it's called OSHA. And OSHA regulates um, these, these problems, these heat issues. Eileen Keene is the state director for the National Federation of Independent Businesses. She says federal rules already protect employees from unsafe work conditions, and the tight labor market means it's in the best interest of companies to keep workers safe. It's so difficult to get employees. So ask yourself, if it's hard to fill your team, to fill the team to run your business correctly, efficiently, to make a profit, why would you not treat your employees well? Because you want to keep people once you have that team in place. The New Jersey Farm Bureau also disagrees with this bill and sent a letter to lawmakers earlier this year. It said the bill would take a one-size-fits-all approach to all industries across the state when creating a heat-related illness and injury protection program. It would be an impractical and virtually unimplementable program for agriculture. But workers here aren't hearing any of that. The New Jersey heat standard will protect workers like me. If New Jersey really believes uh, uh, in supporting workers, they should pass this legislation. Rafael Escalante works as a waiter in Jersey City and says he's at risk because there aren't any state standards for heat. The rules are if you have a table, you cannot go inside. You need to stay on top of your table. That means there is no water breaks. That means there is no shadow. Uh, no, no shadow. That means there is no way for us to, to rest. For this bill to take effect this summer, the assembly would need to call an emergency session. I haven't been told anything about our schedule and the assembly changing. But you know, it only takes one house to start the bill. So uh, hopefully, I mean, there'll be an ask in the Senate and we'll all, as one um, worker in the assembly labor committee say, we'll all hope and pray. Workers here at Gate Gourmet have a very simple message if state leaders don't pass a heat standards bill and if conditions don't get better from their employer. We'll be back soon! We'll be back soon! We'll we reached out to Gate Gourmet for comment but did not hear back by our deadline. In Elizabeth, I'm Ted Goldberg, NJ Spotlight News. Support for the Business Report is provided by Experience the Vibrancy of Newark's Arts and Education District and Halsey Street. Halsey a neighborhood built on heart and hustle. Visit HalseyN-W-K.com for the 2024 Halsey Fest schedule.